As a truck guy, I hate the Cybertruck. Before you guys take to the comments and say my feeble mind can't handle something unique, wrong on this channel, I've covered slingshots, quad Harley Davidsons, which are pretty controversial. Even more controversial is the electric live wire from Harley Davidson, an electric motorcycle. I love that motorcycle. I absolutely love things that are unique, but I hate the Cybertruck. And I think a lot of it, of course, has to do with the design. And I think the initial design meetings kind of went something like this. Great news, we've got this new skateboard chassis. We can start designing our truck platform. What do you say we start with just an F-150? Scrap the entire thing, just keep the pickup bed. It's definitely gonna need a better coefficient of drag. Do you remember the Lumina APV? Bring that in. That does look a little bit out of place. Remember the GMC Envoy XUV? Bring that in, let's see if that covers the back. Still seems to look maybe a little bit out of place. Yeah, you're right. Grab that bed from the old Avalanche, slap that on there. No, that's not it either. Scrap that back end, but if we're gonna trick people into thinking this is a truck, we should really keep that back seat. We can pick this up tomorrow. No, 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 we've got this. We're on to something. Bring me the back end of an Aztec. Or bring me another, give me another Aztec. We've nailed it, this is it. I ain't, I'm not telling you. Now make it monochromatic. We wanna make sure it doesn't look like we just scabbed together a bunch of old failed vehicles. I just gotta clean up a couple edges here. Do you guys remember the DeLorean? What the f is happening? I wanna see what this thing looks like in stainless steel. We've done it. Do you think maybe we should go to some focus groups and a little bit of feedback. No focus groups. Our customers will give us money no matter what we do. Straight to marketing. No more questions. Start building the Gigafactory immediately. What, what the f*** is a Gigafactory? If you love the Cybertruck, that's fine. Beauty's in the eye of the beholder when it comes to automotive. And truth be told, maybe over the years the design grows on me. A lot of trucks and vehicles in general are like that. You have to see them in person. Totally respect that. I, however, when I see the Cybertruck, just kind of see a bunch of old failed attempts at a newish, coolish SUV sort of thing that have all failed. And that's kind of what I see with the Cybertruck. That's where I will say that I think I see this going is just not selling very much volume. But if I'm really gonna challenge myself and think like, why do I really hate the Cybertruck? Design aside, I think my problem comes back to the SUVification of every sedan on the road and every brand now taking these tiny, tiny little vehicles, making them a little bit taller, and then saying, there you go, there's your SUV. And somehow these automotive manufacturers have kind of just gotten away with it. Tesla really, I think, starts to just rub me the wrong way when you look at how much their marketing arm of Tesla really just takes a hold and kind of works in a scary way. Leave Benny alone! So when Tesla first came out and announced the Cybertruck, of course, it's bulletproof. They slapped this bulletproof vest on me and gave me a gun. But what if he shot you in the face? What if he shot me in the face? That's a risk we were willing to take. Then they throw the steel ball at the window. Oh my fucking God. Well, maybe that was a little too hard. It shatters. So then they come out now with their new delivery events with what appears to be a baseball, but is really no more than like these T-balls where when he throws it and it hits the window, he first of all kind of half lobs it. And then when it hits the ground, <laughs> it's, it, it's basically just dead. Now, I don't know if they were doing that to troll or if they were doing that because they didn't want to break another way. I don't know. I honestly don't care. So if we want to start getting technical, is the Cybertruck a truck? Sure, but so is anything else that can haul heavy material. What is a heavy material? It, whatever. Even Tesla themselves, in all of their events, you keep hearing them call it a car. We have a, a car here that makes the car very quiet. When you drive the car, and if you're ever in an argument with another car, with a Tommy gun, and emptied the entire magazine into the car door, arrow would go through the car. We actually had to slightly turn the car at the end so it didn't hit the wall. You have here a car that is, uh, it's the first time that a car is- I mean, it's gonna be amazing to see all these cars driving around. I think that kind of tells you that they themselves don't believe it's a truck and they missed an opportunity to i think make it something truly different which it is it is very different in this world of hybrid truck suv xuv sort of space because i don't think they came to the market with a better truck i think they came to the market with probably the most compelling XUV that's ever existed. And that's honestly, I think, where my problem is. It's like uh, a combination of very weird choices in design 
and then overly ambitious choices in marketing and calling it a truck and just trying to just make it this thing that I just genuinely don't believe that it is. Now, there are some very compelling arguments that I will make saying why I don't think this is a great truck. Number one, that triangle that's over the bed of the truck, it's going to make it nearly impossible to reach over the edge of a the bed of a truck and ratchet down a ratchet strap. Even now in current pickup trucks, a lot of times if you're trying to get to that front ratchet strap, you're kind of climbing up on the tire and reaching up around to do that maneuver. And now with that triangle, even doing that, you're not going to be able to do it. It's going to be very difficult to access. Now, the other component of this is just being an electric in general. Makes the vehicle so much heavier. Watching that Cybertruck get stuck and get pulled out by an F-250 really shows you, you do not want weight off-road. In no sense of the imagination, you do not want weight off-road. If you get stuck, you're going to be more stuck than a lighter vehicle, and it just is going to go against that ability. The weight is going against it, the shape is going against it, the range of it is going against it, and all of those things combined just make me wonder, why not just sell this thing as a a hybrid SUV truck, XUV. Tesla could have found a million cool things to call this category, but the reason why they didn't, and it's in my opinion that they have to ride the wave of truck sales in the US because trucks are where the money is. And instead of actually truly coming out and saying, we've made the most revolutionary thing that nobody's ever seen before, they instead said, let's tie this to a truck, call it a truck, and try to grab as many of those sales as possible. And I really think that's where I've really lost all, maybe not all respect. I still think Tesla makes incredible products, but the Cybertruck, it's an abomination. I think it's exploiting their own fan base because they know their fan base will defend them almost blindly. And uh, I think it's going to be a failed vehicle. I, I, maybe two years, they're going to come around and what they're going to say is economic conditions, blah, 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 stock market speak as a reason to kill it off. But I think the real reason is going to be known by truck people is that it's just not a great truck. So like what you like, I'm not here to tell you that you can't like the cyber truck. I'm just here to tell you that I don't. And if you agree with me or disagree with me, please have at it in the comments down below. I have no problem with people who disagree with me. We'll see how it does. I mean, honestly, we're all going to vote with our dollar. Be very interested to see what they do for volume. Um, I think that what is going to be seen with the Cybertruck, uh, a lot of cryptocurrencies and realtors with their names plastered all over the side of these things. I don't think you're going to see a lot of contractors doing it um, because I think it'll be laughed at by the people who are really in that circle. But I could be wrong. Time will you know prove me right or wrong. So with that being said, guys, thank you very much for tuning in. That's my take on the Cybertruck. I'm interested to see one in person, but really not excited to see one in person either. So I'm looking forward to somebody who actually comes out and re-envisions a truck. Rivian was kind of close, but let's see the next real revolutionary pickup truck EV come to market, and then maybe I'll get excited about that. But with that being said, guys, thank you very much for tuning in. If this is your first time tuning in, please hit that subscribe button down below. Remember, likes go a long way to support the channel, and I will see you guys next time.